dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Hi guys, how you doing? It is only me once again. Just a quick video, a few minutes long. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to ask you to watch all of it because at the very end, in the end card, there's going to be a link to somebody's channel and I'm going to ask you all to please go and hit that link and go and visit their channel. Uh, this guy has got some great stuff on his channel. He's kind of up and coming, I suppose, in... Uh, in, in, in the kind of thing that we do. I mean, he's, he's doing audits, he's interacting with the police. In fact, some of his interactions are <laughs> quite funny. Uh, I've just taken a few seconds of some of his clips. I'm just gonna bung them all together here just so you can get an idea of the kind of stuff that this guy's doing. As I say, in the end screen, so the last 20 seconds of this video, uh, there's gonna be, on the right hand side of your screen, there's gonna be two blocks, which are gonna be videos of mine. And there's gonna be a little round one, which is usually my, subscribe uh, button but in today's video it's going to be a subscribe button to this other channel and i'm going to ask you please please go and check it out go and subscribe um it's got some good stuff and i see some more good stuff coming in the near future so thank you to each and every one of you and enjoy the video sx please control room can i help you oh yeah just speaking to a lady a minute ago and um, put me through to you I was recently arrested for a Section 5 public order offence for basically yep. sticking my finger up at a police officer. Um, right. But the CPS dropped it. But right. obviously I got arrested for it. So, yep. you know, but it's dropped. So I'm a bit confused about, you know, because obviously I've looked up the Section 5 Public Order Act. Um, yeah. And uh, it, it says, you know, if it causes someone harassment, alarm and distress. So yep. I've got a like a list of words so i was just wondering if i could go through and see if they would be included in that section five i'd, so rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather we didn't you're through to the control room if you need all oh, right law, so i could quickly go listener. go through them um no don't no don't go through them if you need so advice like if law, i said fuck the police would that be illegal um i spoke to um one of your gang members um quite a while back it was that one the really stupid one uh, Sergeant 2211 okay. doesn't own any law or anything like that, so, you know, um, but that's near or there. Um, he mentioned that I've got a complaint going. Um, do you want to open this window so I can hear you? Do you want to open it or not? No? Why? All right, okay. All right, I can't really hear you because of the rain. Um, but apparently an Inspector Bennett, so he's like the higher ranking gang member, um, can't seem to get a hold of him. I've tried a few phone calls today, okay. um, can't get a hold of him. But it's about an arrest on, there look, the 2nd and 3rd, 2019. Yep. So it's four months and this um, high ranking gang member is apparently dealing with it. Okay. I've not heard anything. Nothing from professional well, standards. Well, apparently I have, yeah. Well, you must know, surely. Well, I must have. So, have you made a complaint or not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Inspector Bennett is supposed to be dealing with it. Say again, sorry? You're saying Inspector Bennett is supposed to be dealing with it? Yeah, apparently. I don't know. Right. Because I've not been told anything. I've had no letters, no phone calls, no emails, nothing. That's four months ago, mate. Do you know who you made the complaint to? Someone on the phone, probably. Okay. So, um... What was the complaint about? Um, basically against human rights, you know, in custody, where you're breaking the law and that, you know. No water, no food. You felt you hadn't been very fair in custody or something like that? No, it's not a felt. I don't know, I wasn't there. But is that the nature of your complaint? Well, Look it up. Huh? Look it up. Instead of standing there like a dork with the window shut. Don't need to be abusive. That's not abusive. I'm, I'm here and I'm trying to help you, but you're not being Well, you're help. not really helping, are you? Um it's four months, mate. Good morning. Welcome to Essex Police. 
Essex Police, how may I help you? Hiya, is a PC Wentworth available at all? Let me have a look for you. Hold right. on. Wentworth's off duty back in today at 2pm. Is he? Is um, mm. PC Reed available? Do you know their caller number, please? Yeah, 78156. Let me look. Hold on. Reed is on a rest day today, back in tomorrow at 6. What about uh, mm-hmm. what about PC Hagen? Are they available? Seven four five zero six. No, they're on a rest day. They're back in tomorrow at three p.m. Not having right. much luck, are we? No, not really. Do you want to talk to someone about something? Um, let's try um, Sergeant McQuaid, uh, three two seven four. No, McQuaid's in tomorrow at ten p.m. Wow. Um, Did you want to talk basically, to I'm I'm just trying to get hold of some cocaine because I know they've got it, um, and the ones that I'm asking for, I know that they actually have quite a bit of cocaine. So I was just wondering if like that's why I keep ringing up. They have cocaine. Yeah, like I think they have like ten cocaine. So I've been trying to get hold of them to get to buy some cocaine off them. Are you joking? You're calling the police and asking talking about buying cocaine. No, not cocaine. Cocaine. There's like... What? They have ten. Definitely have ten of them. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll put you through to someone hold on. All right. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi there. Um, So you're busy talking to my tutee. So Mm. you're basically wanting cocaine and you want us to source officers to get you cocaine. Oh, yeah. No, there's um, a couple of officers that I know sell, sell it. Okay, and you've um, given us their names and uh, yeah, numbers. Yeah, and so you've, yeah. got, you've got their names, yeah? Okay, we're not going to help you get cone, cocaine. <laughs> Frank, you're, you're speaking to the police. I don't want you? cocaine. I want, like, four cocaine. Yeah, okay, regardless, we're not helping you get cocaine, are we? No, okay. Um, no. So speaking when, police, um, we, we've got when, their details when PC down, Wentworth okay. is back on duty, I'll just speak to him then. Would that be a better idea instead of going through you? Okay, um, yeah, if you really so otherwise, want, but we've got all these details done, haven't we? Yeah, so I'll just, yeah. I'll just when, when is he back on duty and I'll just ask him for cocaine well, I, I, when I'm he's not back. giving you when he's back on duty, I don't have to. And to uh, be fair, you if you're going to continue to waste of, our time really. here. So again, sorry? He's in there, mate. Cheers. I don't sit in front of you. Get you turn your phone off now, please. Oh, then I'll have to for meeting because people here don't want it recorded. They don't want anything recorded. So if you can continue to record, then I'll have to meeting. Could you leave your phone on the de- front desk, please? Put it in your bag, please. Why, why are you recording? Recording people. Yeah, this is what I've got some questions. Just two seconds. That's all. You can go and film his wife just away from these people. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Can you rather do it in front of everyone? Just pop over. Fine, you can film me, that's no problem, I've got no issue with that, okay? I'm just asking you politely, these people have come here tonight, there's children here, okay, that want to conduct this meeting, okay, and they've asked you to stop recording, they've asked you politely, and we don't want, ultimately, this, you know, you can see how many people there, you know, by all means, show, show what you, you want, okay, there's a lot of people here, okay? I'm asking you politely, will you stop filming? Am I breaking the law? Are you breaking the law? Am I breaking any law? Are you breaking the, this isn't a public place. Yes, it is a public place. No, it's paid for by place. council tax. Yeah, no. Listen, I'm asking you politely, okay, to save... Uh, so, are you going to answer that? Come out here,
I'm asking you politely, okay? We're trying to engage with our community. Okay? Exactly, and I'm part of the community. I, I know, and that's exactly. fine. And I'm not saying you can't continue, but what I'm asking you is, is that they've been asked not to film, to be filmed, okay? So that is hindering not my what problem. we're trying to achieve. I know, but seriously, Ben, you're right. I, I'm, as the chair said, you're more than welcome to come in and sit and join in. Mm. Really welcome. I don't, I, don't, I don't really get the problem. I mean, the last time I did this, People going, oh, we're giving out our personal information. Absolutely. I could have sat there with a notepad and done. written down the woman's address and all that sort of shit if I was wanting to do something wrong. Okay. I should ask you, can you not swear, please? Oh. No need to swear. It's not swearing at you, and I, you know. Okay. You oh, actually, I was going to say okay. you know the law, but you don't. Do. That's the problem. I do. No, you we're don't. In a public place, and you're, using you're an inspector. Notes. I am indeed. Wow. Okay. So you should be leaving me alone then, because you should know the law. I'm talking to you and I'm politely asking you... I've got some questions, some really in-depth questions. And that's so fine. I want them answered on camera. Good night, all.